My name is Nan Vandenberg. Vandenberg is V as in Victor, A-N-D-E-N-B-E-R-G. Okay, all right. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a retired school teacher. I taught school for 60, or 50 years in Michigan. Uh, I am twice widowed and uh, raised three wonderful children and I have a lot of grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And I lead a very busy life now that I'm down here in Florida. I've been here about 20 years and I like to be active in civic events and different things that are going on. Uh, so I just keep busy and busy. For the community. I like to work for the community. So, so let's do it one more time. I okay. think we messed you up there. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, just tell, and that was, what you said was perfect. Tell, okay. Now if I can remember what I said. <laughs> just say, don't try to say it, what you just said. Just tell us about right. yourself again. Okay. Yeah, so tell us about yourself. Well, I am, a re I am a retired school teacher from Michigan, and I taught 50 years, high school English, and uh, journalism and speech and so forth. And I am a twice widowed. I lost two wonderful husbands, but I was still married 50 years. And uh, I have raised three children and have about 15 grandchildren and 17 or more great-grandchildren, mostly in Michigan. And uh, now that I'm retired and down here, I like to be active in the community and do things and uh, to help the community. Tell us some of the things you're active in in the community. Well, the Women's Civic Club of Panama City Beach is my favorite. I'm past president of that, and we do many, many things to help those in our community. I'm active also in, uh, or have been in the past, at Woodlawn Church, singing in the choir. Uh, I was in a garden club also out here on the beach at one time, and I just have done many, many community things. I like to reach out for the food pantry and that type of thing. Well, that's wonderful. So tell us about um, uh, when did you first start having heart problems? Well, when I first started having health problems came on so gradually that I really can hardly remember. But little by little, I uh, kept getting shorter of breath, couldn't walk as far, I was tired, and thought it was many different things. How did you find out what, what was going on with your health? Well, one day I had, I found out originally by, uh, I was going to have another procedure done on a different part of my body. <laughs> and you want to start over? You can just start over. <laughs> well, I, I won't go into all that. Uh, you were in the doctor's office. I was right? in the doctor's office. Right. <laughs> And uh, my heart started to beat so quickly, and they knew something was wrong, and so they sent me immediately from that procedure into, excuse me, into health care, into heart, getting my heart checked. And um, that's, that's when they first found out that I had a heart problem, and then I had a couple stents first before I had this last procedure done. So after you had had the stents, did you feel better? Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, and, I did. And then the, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, after the procedure, I felt, uh, after the stents, I felt very, very much better, but still very tired. And I still, of course, with my age, I thought it was I just wearing down. And uh, I will be, I don't know if you want me to say this, but I will be 90 in November. And so I just uh, thought it was age partially also at one time. Okay. All right, and so then uh, tell us about, uh, was Dr. Have you had or Dr. Morrow your doctor first? Dr. Morrow. Dr. Morrow, so tell us about when you went to see him and what he told you about what your options were for getting better. Okay, well he did my two stents. Okay. And okay. then after that he, he found out that, I'm not sure how the numbers work, but what on this one test I was way, way low, lower than I should have been whether it was the echogram or whatever it was, it was one of those tests. And uh, so I was so low, he said I would qualify for a heart valve replacement. That was the type of thing that I needed. Can, can you kind 
could shorten that a little bit and say, um, when I went to, something to the effect of when I went to Dr. Morrow, he said that I'm qualified to have a heart valve replacement. Okay. When I went to Dr. Morrow, he said at that time that I qualified for a heart valve replacement. Okay, so then um, how, did you, how did you come about having the TAVR procedure? Well, they gave me, uh, uh, when they, it came time for the procedure, deciding what to have, I, uh, they gave me three options, three or four options. And uh, I don't know if you want me to go through all sure, those. Sure, but, but start again so you're, you know, not, a, so when it came time for it, they gave me three okay. or four options and then talk all about right. what they were. When it came time for the procedure, it was, uh, they told me that I had three options. One was uh, to not do anything. Uh, number two, because of my age, you know, the, the age gets in there, whether you at that age want to do so much. Uh, the next option was where they cut you open all the way and it goes in and you have a big rehab and you uh, like two or three months rehab or whatever and uh, it's a major, major, major surgery. And then the new option was to have Tavar, which is um, the uh, where they go through your aortic valve and go, or not valve, but aortic procedure. It's okay, you can start again and say, and the third option, you know, pause for a second and say, and the third option was... Okay. okay. And the Tavar. third option yeah. was... Yeah, and the third option was Tavar. And the third option was Tavar. Well, at that time, they did not have that available here at Bay Medical. And I would have had to go to way out of town every time I have a, uh, an exam and test and so forth, back and forth and back and forth, and had a procedure done out of town. Then they told me they were going to have this available here, right here in uh, Panama City at Bay Medical. So I was so thrilled and I they thought I could wait. That was in November that this happened. And uh, they, they thought it would be okay if I waited and the new machinery got here or whatever it is uh, until they were ready to begin their new procedure here. So I, that was the one that I opted to go with. I did not want to be cut all the way open. Um, so tell us about when you had the procedure. What was that like? I keep looking. Could you ask Debbie if she can kind of monitor the noise out there? By the way, that was Randy from Malachute. Is she from Malachute? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody was being so loud. I was asking. Oh, okay. Told it about the procedure. What happened from the time you came in until later? The same, the day I had it, you mean? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so just talk to us. About oh my gosh, everything. Uh, the day I had the procedure ran so smoothly. I don't even remember very much of it because I had had all the tests previously. So I came in the day of the procedure, and uh, everything just was like clockwork. And it was before I knew it, it was all over. And about two or three hours later, I was on my feet. And it, er, the whole thing was just so miraculous. It was just miraculous. And uh, the, the doctors were so skilled and they have so much knowledge and just were so caring and so were all the rest of the staff here at Bay Medical. And so how long was your recovery? Well, I don't know what you mean exactly how. Well, okay, well, <laughs> because what about uh, say something about um, after the procedure, I was only in the hospital for oh, okay. something like that. All right. After the procedure, I was in the hospital for two days. I went home. I had it done on a Thursday, Wednesday and went home on Thursday or Friday. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Just start over. Just start over. <laughs> after my procedure, I recovered very quickly, I think. And uh, the procedure was on a Wednesday and I went home Friday. And uh, it took me a little while to get some stiffness out of me. And um, but as soon as I was well, or the very next day after the procedure, they took a test, and I had recovered my numbers back up to where they should have been. And they they were all excited about that, and I was too. That just that quickly, it made a difference. So just tell us just one more time about after the procedure, 
Uh, I got up the same day. Oh. Within two hours, I was walking around, and I went home within two days or okay. something like that, All just right. where it's a little shorter. Okay. After my procedure, I was up almost immediately to go to the bathroom, and I went home two days later and uh, have been moving around ever since. That was good. And so tell us how, how you feel now versus how you felt prior to the procedure. Now I feel so much stronger and not short of breath. I still have my limitations, but I have other parts of my body that may be affecting that too at my age. I feel so much uh, more energetic and just like a new person. That was good. So tell us, uh, are there things you're able to do now that you weren't able to do before? All right, now I'm able to walk farther and I'm able to attend the like go to a lot of sports events, not <laughs> not the actual events, but watch them on TV someplace with my sports buddy. And uh, I just am able to do something every single day and not get tired and not have to sleep all the time. I was very tired all the time. And uh, I have much more energy. So would you have ever dreamed we would have something like this here in Panama City? Pardon? Would you have dreamed in the past that we would have oh, no. something here like no. this? So just maybe say something about that. Okay. I'm so happy to see that the procedures being given here in uh, in Panama City because it's just so much closer for people to be able to do this instead of having to travel so far away and go back and forth and that sort of thing. And now we have it right here available to us and I'm just so thrilled about that and I hope others will take advantage of this as I have. It's been great. Tara, can you think of anything else we should ask? No, I think maybe you might want to just touch on Yeah, to, like to walk out to get the yeah, like like out. things that you that you're doing now that you had kind of given up on, like with your clubs or or um, walking or whatever. Like before, I couldn't do this, and now I can do that, whatever it might be. Oh, well, I didn't really give up on anything <laughs> all the way. <laughs> that's okay. And that's okay. I, I still I used to do it, it, but slower. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I, I just think my, uh, my lifestyle right now is much more active uh, and much easier for me. And everyone notices that I have a little more pep, and I think that's great too. So. That was good. That well, was um, good. you answered, answered her though. Yeah. Um, okay. Your uh, family, your grandchildren and, and, and great-grandchildren, how was their reactions when, you know, when they knew you were going in for this serious thing and when you came out, what was their reaction like and how different you were just oh, in that short time? Yeah. Okay. Well, my family thinks that I have done just really well and they uh, are so enthusiastic about it and they just think I'm going to outlive all of them. <laughs> I can't think of anything right now, but I probably will when I get home. And we'll, we'll have another opportunity, too. So, Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Our There's so many things I wanted to say, but I was so well-trained, and they're just, they're just miraculous. I think it's great. They're a great group, aren't they? And I would recommend this for anyone to do. Okay. That sure sounds like Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, it was a medical team effort. I think there were about 15 people around me during the procedure. And it was just a joint act, and they were just all wonderful and talented and skilled and miraculous. Thank you very much.